the what hunkiest, the, right? The hunkiest. Uh, like hunky soup, you know what I mean? How about, how about, how about that little back in section? <laughs> yeah. Logan, Connor, and Arjun. Amazing, you'll see, you'll see them later tonight. Now, we are so excited to have our grown-up guest here tonight. Not only is he a physicist here at Princeton, he's also a candidate for Rush Holt's old seat in the House in the 12th Congressional District of New Jersey. We'll ask him if Rush Holt's butt is particularly warm. Please welcome out Andrew Zwicker. You are the head of the science education department at the Princeton Plasma Physics Lab here at Princeton. What, is, what does that entail? Uh, it entails educating the entire world on the value of science. Wow, so it's just science writ large? All of science. It, no, no borders? None whatsoever. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, practically, what, is, what does that sort of break down into? You teach your writing sim, right? I teach your writing sim. Uh, so the, the, the science education is really about trying to make sure students have you know, all the skills they need, whether it's in, in plasma physics, uh, whether it's in energy, renewable energy, things like that, whether teachers have skills that they need to teach their students. Um, and so that's what the science education piece is. Gotcha, cool. Now, uh, one of your main research interests we have here, uh, dusty plasmas? Yeah. What, why are they dusty? <laughs> just get, get a compressed air. <laughs> I do this with my keyboard all the time. Right. You just spray them down, yeah. no longer dusty. Uh, <laughs> the rings of Saturn are a dusty plasma. The tail of a comet is a dusty plasma. So we add it into the plasma to try to understand in the laboratory something about what's going on in astrophysical objects. So that's one piece. And then infusion, which is what the plasma physics lab does. Mm -hmm. right? So there we're trying to make a new source of energy. And any dirt in there, and that's my, my physics expertise is in studying the dirt that gets into uh, a fusion reactor. So there we want to know what happens to the dust and how we get it out. So dirt, yeah, so dirt's a bad thing in the future. Dirt is a bad thing. Okay. I'm an expert at seeing dirt go in and dirt come out. <laughs> that sounds a lot like Congress. <laughs> Good at removing the dirt. This yeah. is a good sign. I like that. Cleaning up Congress. Uh, now another another thing we noticed on your website. Uh, it said you said it's an awesome feeling to be weightless. Just ask me about it. Right. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are doing the asking. Right. When were you weightless? I've been weightless for 45 minutes. I've done a hundred. Like the past 45 minutes. <laughs> you guys are just floating through here. <laughs> Um, I've done 132, 135 parabolas on NASA's Vomit Comet. This is the airplane that goes out over the Gulf of Mexico and does basically the world's greatest roller coaster. So at the top, you are weightless, and at the bottom, you're at 2G. So if you're going to puke, that's at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and we did like a dusty plasma experiment. So I brought undergraduate students out to Houston. We did a, a, an experiment. Dusty plasmas, vomit plasmas. <laughs> yeah. All the plasmas. And NASA, just, you know, NASA's very high-tech uh, puke capturing system is a bark bag. And that's, that's, that's it. it. That's Just it. Manual. They float over to you and... If it ain't uh, broke, don't, don't yeah. fix it. <laughs> now, so this is, you're running for Congress. That's the, it's a pretty big career change. Right. Um, why? Like what's, <laughs> it seems uh, Americans say that that is, Congress itself right. is the biggest problem facing yes. our nation. Yeah. <laughs> why bother? <laughs> Someone has to do something about it, right? So what are we going to do, right? I mean, the, the serious answer would be that, you know, Congress has the lowest approval rating like, in its history. And so what are we possibly going to do? So some people say, why bother? Uh, some people say, we've got to send a new type of person down there. So in Princeton, in this area, we've been very fortunate because Rush Holt was at Princeton. He is a plasma physicist. You made a joke before, but there's actually a newspaper story of someone when I first entered the race that said, how many more plasma physicists are there that are going to run for Congress? <laughs> so, um, there are no scientists on the House Science Committee that decides our national science funding. You know, funding for the National Institute of Health, funding for the that National is, Science That's messed up. That's really messed up. So, why not send scientists down there who use this thing called evidence and um, <laughs> facts, right? Logic, to try to, logic yeah. to try to make decisions as opposed to ideology. So that's the, that's the plan. And Rush Holt did it really well. Uh, he announced he was, he was going to retire. People came to me and said, would you do it? And I said, sure, I mean, I'll try. Why not? 
That's awesome. That's really ever. Yeah. Now, uh, Russell, famous for, um, of course, also beating IBM Blue yeah. supercomputer on Jeopardy. Right. Uh, we just had some Jeopardy guests on last week. Any Jeopardy connection for you? I got no Jeopardy. Either. That's you're going to have to overcome that. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been waiting this week. You have. Oh, so <laughs> fair enough. Uh, now, so can Princeton students vote for you? Yeah, so, so should, should they? <laughs> I don't want to tell you who to vote for, but if you want to vote for a Princeton person, there is one in the race. So, <laughs> the uh, but yeah, I mean, you can, you can use your, your Princeton address. You can register here in Princeton. Um, you can, if you want to vote in the primary, which is June 3rd, which is coming up quickly, you can go ahead and register here and you can do a mail-in ballot since you know, for the most part everyone will be gone. And here's the crazy thing. Uh, people don't vote in primaries for the most part, right? So a, your vote would actually count. <laughs> That's really rare, would, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, you can make a huge difference. So are you facing, are you facing a lot of stiff competition in the primary? In the um, I'm facing three state, uh, state legislators who believe it's time for a promotion. Um, they're nice people. Um, they've done a reasonably good job at the state level. I'm actually the only one who has any experience at the federal level. Uh, we're going to be de debating on Tuesday. The League of Women Voters is having a debate in Princeton. And on Thursday, the ACLU is having another debate. So there's a chance to actually go ahead. What, what times are those? Can people come out they to could. those? They could, 7 p.m. Uh, can, we, can we sort of pack the stand? You can pack it and shoot loudly. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, what is the best reason not to vote for you? <laughs> I've heard good things. Right. Um, the best reason not to vote for me is because you want Congress to stay and our, and our wonderful democracy to stay broken the way it is. If it ain't not broken, That's don't right, don't be <laughs> fixed. <laughs> One more question now. Can you explain a political issue using the language of physics? Like using metaphors, it doesn't have to be like useful. Right. We're just like we want to get a sense for like what your rhetoric is going to be. All right, all right. Give me, give me a topic. I can do any political topic in the language of physics. Uh, let's let's talk about um, healthcare. Okay. So healthcare is about a inelastic collision that involves a beta decay, and when the beta decay de occurs, one of the things that happens is that the positive feedback loop comes around, lowers your costs and provides a beta decay for everybody. It's a single, it's a single beta decay for single all. Classic. Yeah. 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 A long game with our guests. Um, and our student guest tonight, Dr. Zucker, uh, Ariel Singh, just won her election for the class of 2017 uh, USG social chair. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, so we thought on stage, yeah. We thought we'd stage a little debate between the two of you later on in the show. Are you going to come back for that? I'm in. All right, awesome. Andrew Zucker, everybody. Woo!